name's Shalev. Yeah. Um, so glad you're here to listen to my presentation. And today I'm talking about achievement and successful in my field, uh, music. And firstly, uh, I would like to talk about the definition about achievement and successful. Um, well, um, it's quite, um, there's no denying that the way we, defi we define successful and achievement is, has become controversial among the public. Well, some people think that maybe uh, you achieve money, that will be successful. You achieve faith, you have faith, that is, you are successful. But um, for me, uh, I would like to say, um, being a real and pure artist that um, should be full of enthusiasm and creative mind, that is the that is a, uh, the successful of an artist. Okay. Um, to me, this is important to consider the uh, key words is innovation. Okay. Um, okay. Here, I'm uh, I'm going to talk about my favorite musician <coughs> and why he is successful. Um, the man called Rachmaninoff. He's a Russian musician. Yeah, very. Yeah, he's one of the greatest music uh, melody, uh, greatest melody musician in the world. He has um, a unique personality and confidence. His music of oh, the music of Rachmaninoff is very creative because he can establish his own style in just few stanzas. Just few stanzas, a small piece of music, and you can know, oh, this is my friend of, okay. Um, sorry. Oh, you're okay with me. Uh, yeah. Mm. Like, um, but his um, career is not like uh, what he, uh, his talents that went so well. Because um, since the Russian Revolution in 19, 1917, Rachmaninoff was expelled to uh, Switzerland. So he uh, quit his job in, his, uh, in Russia. She went to Switzerland, then the United States. During this time, he wrote one of his most important work um, called Symphony No. 2 in E minor. This piece of work, well, this piece of work is uh, explores the color of harmonic techniques um, such as mm, a, tonal, a tonality. That means the the music without without any keys, without key, just um, just like freestyle, and maybe no tempo. Mm -hmm. uh, just you do whatever you want. And another um, piece, uh, create the new creation is uh, 12 notes, 12 notes techniques. It means he used 12 notes to build, to compose one piece of music. Just 12 notes. Yes, this is well his um, creation. Um, like a uh, violinist, Mel, uh, Melton, Melton, him. He said, um, the most important thing of Rachmaninoff's music is his music full of Russian character, of sadness, of beauty and melody. The reason why I quote this, uh, his word is to prove that um, innovation is a um, very important way to make progress of your Creation of your productive product. Okay, this is a picture to show um, the people who would uh, listen to his uh, music to inspire them uh, to fighting with the Russian government during you know during the Russian Revolution. Well, I think um, his music 
was born in the dark, dark period of Russian history. It expressed the intense hatred of self-domination. Dominate, self-domination means uh, an rule to farmers or workers that are very low classes of people. So that uh, the government treats them very rude and well, like use, uh, um, okay, uh, employ them like slaves. Okay, but his music inspired farmers' battles with the force of darkness. <coughs> okay, this is the. Um, we call it, um, it is not only inspired people who under the rule of Tsarist, Tsarist, also the most brilliant chapter for the revolution of world music history. His music style has become a milestone in history and developed after the past and influenced the world music greatly. That is the end of my presentation. Would you like to ask me any question? Um, how, would you, how is the name of the most popular uh, song that the artist, the musician has? Um, I think he has a lot, but for maybe this one period, one. yeah, maybe for this period. Uh, he created a music called Symphony Number no. Two and E minor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's okay. Uh, as I know, you are have same a major with me uh -huh. music performance. Yeah. Right? But uh, you know, in this college, uh, you could learn kind of popular music. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite far from from classical, music, right? right? So why did you? choice I uh, choose this college? Um, because I realized um, nowadays people are more like combining classical with modern music together. But uh, what I have learned is um, for 19 years is like uh, classical. But I want to learn more about modern like music, technology, uh, media, kinds of the relative industry. Okay. So I want to combine them together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.